Known as Hugh Muddy Waters Hargett on the football field back in college, this now grandfather had trouble tackling the diagnosis of prostate cancer. I couldn't eat. Um, I probably lost about 45 or 50 pounds. One in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Oncologist Daniel George says even though there's been a decrease in prostate cancer cases, too many lives are still being lost. Death from prostate cancer is at an all-time high, 29,000 deaths a year in the U.S. He says African Americans are at a greater risk for developing the disease. And they're two and a half times greater risk of dying from prostate cancer. Should we be treating these patients differently? Researchers at Duke Cancer Institute studied both African American and Caucasian patients, treating both groups with a drug called abiraterone. We saw a better response in the African American population than the Caucasian population. Now they want to understand genetically why these patients do better. Can we use that information to treat them even earlier and maybe cure? some of these guys. Hugh has been on the chemotherapy drug for two years and found out his cancer is in complete remission. It's really a, a fantastic response and I'm very happy for you. Thank the Lord. <laughs> now he believes it is possible to beat cancer but knows there are no guarantees. I never thought I'd be here today. Giving men at high risk hope for the future. Dr. George says it's not the skin color that's important, it's the genes associated with the skin color that can affect treatment response. Hugh will continue to stay on the chemotherapy, even though that study has concluded. For HealthLink, I'm Amity Idrisi.